The government of Iraq says it will take legal action on behalf of those killed by U.S. soldiers in the 2005 attack in Haditha. Earlier this week, manslaughter charges against U.S. Staff Sergeant Frank Wooderich were dismissed as the result of a plea deal. The November 2005 killing left 24 Iraqis dead, many of them unarmed civilians, including women and children. For more, we go to Baghdad to speak with freelance journalist Bashar Mandalawi. Welcome to FSRN. Thank you. Witnesses to the killings described Sergeant Wooderich as the ringleader of the killings. Now with this plea deal, he has likely avoided any jail time. Talk about the significance of this decision. Well, uh, uh, it's shock news. Uh, I do ask the military court to reconsider the judgment against uh, the U.S. soldier who was uh, baptized in doing his crime in cold blood. Uh, I do not believe that the American officers give orders to kill innocent people. This is not true. But someone there was playing real video games. But in the matter of fact, uh, he killed real people. He must be brought to justice, real justice that fits the American democracy reputation. We have heard that the case is closed, but I think that Iraqi people say this is uh, absolutely, absolutely rejected. Now, the Iraqi government has said that it will take legal action. Uh, What form could that take, and and what options are available to them? Well, we'll all do my respect. I don't think that our government will do just nothing. Because, and you you don't have to ask me why, and I will give you you the reason. I mean, here, uh, I'm as, as journalist, innocent people, innocent journalists get killed by some militias and the government don't say no word and they they don't they don't they don't uh, do any investigation but what people of hadith and P- iraqi people needs from the united states to take an action again it's to bring that uh, person that soldier to justice because i don't think that he received any order to kill innocent people this is not what we heard about the united states the state of democracy so you don't have a lot of confidence that the Iraqi government will take some concrete uh, steps to bring um, I, some people involved to justice? I, no, I really do reject this from the government. Because mm-hmm. I lost too many of my friends and uh, the government. The Iraqi state did nothing about it, about it. This news comes, of course, just a month after the U.S. has officially withdrawn uh, forces from Iraq. Um, has there been a noticeable change in safety when you go out, when you go out into the neighborhoods? Um, has there been a change since the U.S. has withdrawn forces? I don't, I don't really want to give a, a very much black uh, picture, but when I go uh, outside, I don't feel I'm safe. Uh, for example, I have been forced to put a flag, a Shia Imam Hussein flag, because I live in some Shia neighborhood. I've been forced to put a flag, otherwise they will consider me as a Sunni, and then I'll be uh, under a circle of dangers. Uh, it's not a uh, situation but that's not safe, not anymore. Uh, so I, I cannot expect uh, that I may walk by some neighborhood and then I get killed by an explosion, uh, unexpected one. So there is still that fear of danger. Exactly. Too much. Bashar Mendalawi is a freelance journalist based in Baghdad. He's also the project's manager with the Journalistic Freedoms Observatory. Bashar, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for calling.